Hi folks, Tim here from DME Holsters. Today I'd like to talk to you about holsters. More specifically, what I think the pros and cons of each type of holster is. We have Kydex holsters, we have leather holsters, and then we've got the hybrids. Now for most of us, guns are tools, and we use them every day. As such, there's going to be some wear and tear on the finish, and that's what we're going to talk about today. If you carry every day, you most probably draw your weapon and reholster it five or six times a day. You've got to keep that muscle memory going. It's a very important thing to do. Now, in my opinion, there's no such thing as a perfect holster that will work for everyone. There's gives and takes on everything, and it's up to you, the purchaser, to decide what's going to work best for you. That's why there are companies out there that make strictly leather holsters, Kydex holsters, or hybrid holsters, or a combination of both. First off, if your firearm is stainless steel or nickel plated, you really don't have to worry about messing up the finish. But those folks with the blued guns or the fancy pantsy painted ones, your finish is going to be affected by the holster you choose. And I'm going to show you how. Let's take a look. Okay, so first off what we got here is we got ourselves a leather holster. Now leather holsters have served their purpose throughout time. And, and they're still good. They're still good holsters to have. Um, and there are people that are going to insist on having leather. Disadvantages of the leather are they. You're, it's a glove. It's like wearing a glove. Um, it's going to touch the finish of your weapon all the way through. You know, there's just not much you can do about it. And and that is going to cause wear. I've had this holster for 20 years. If I've had it for a minute, um, old school. Trigger guard's open. We don't make holsters like that anymore. Um, but again. It's a viable option for people. Um, some people, this is what they're going to want to have. Um, so don't discount it, and I don't discount it. Um, it's what the customer wants and what the customer feels like is best for them. But this is going to have the maximum effect of wear on your finish, though, as, as, as a leather holster. It's like wearing a glove. Plus, it's going to absorb moisture, and you know, moisture has its own issues. So that's that's your uh, that's your leather. Then we're going to go to your hybrid. Your hybrid holster has a leather backer on it with a Kydex shell over the front to hold the weapon. Um, good thing about this is it's a little more comfortable to wear because you have a flatter surface that's pressed against your skin, drawback, it's going to absorb moisture. Um, you know, if you, get, if you get it really wet, it's going to have to sit out and dry for a while. Leather's going to get a little hard and a little different and stuff and everything else. The other drawback that I feel with these types of holsters is your firearm is in contact with the leather all the time. Um, and it's going to be in contact with the Kydex too because the way they fit. Um, you put them in like that and it's deep impression at the trigger here to hold it in there but it's also being held up in here um, against your slide because of the flex that there is with the, um, to get the leather, the leather flexes. So it's being constantly being in, in contact with there. So it's going to be more comfortable because it's flat um, it's going to wear a little bit more on your finish. Not quite as bad as what the straight up leather does, but it's going to it's going to wear on your finish a little bit more. Um, then you have your Kydex holsters. Um, the way these are designed is the only contact place is is when you put it in is right here. Um, hence the little wear mark that I have on mine right here from going in and out of the holster. Um, it does not contact in in, in the slide in here. Um, only time that happens is when you have your gun at an angle and you go to put it in the holster or when you pull it out of the holster and you have it at an angle like that and the tip of your tip of your barrel is going to be rubbing on the kydex. Um, if you don't want your have any anywhere on your holster at all or on your gun at all, um, my recommendation is, is leave it in your safe. Um, because you've got to have a holster if you're going to carry it. You've got to have that trigger guard protected. Um, again, that's, that's pretty much what uh, my two cents on it is. Um, one other thing I'll throw in there is most our holsters are made out of Voltron, not Kydex. Um, that's all the same thing, though. It's just a thermal forming plastic. Um, there are just uh, some nice things that happen with the Voltron that doesn't happen with Kydex. A little easier to work with, I guess I would say. Um, but basically, it's still the same material. Um, anyway, that's that's it. That's my two two cents on it. And uh, you know, all the holsters are going to wear your gun. Um, they just do it at different levels. Um, I, I think the Kydex is the least, um, followed by the uh, the hybrid, and then you know your old old school leather, and you just have to decide what you want for comfort. Um, the back of this sitting on you, 
the back of this sitting against your skin. Uh, this is probably going to be a little more comfortable, um, but you get used to this. You know, I can point you in the right direction to put some suede on the back of this if you want. Um, but that's pretty much about it. Um, there you go. Okay, there you have it. That's my two cents for today. And just for listening to this video, you can use the coupon code on the screen for 10% off on your next purchase at dmeholsters.com. Thanks and have a good afternoon.